right, welcome to my... <laughs> Shablam! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Heart to Heart with Monique Heart Transformation. Here we go. So we're here today with Nicole Fire! It's me! My big sis. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Big sis, I think I'm younger than you. Or are you calling me fat? Like, I'm 30. Oh, you are younger than me. <sighs> we have done your transformation once before. Yes, yes, yes. Then we did it again with Trixie Mattel. When you texted me, I truly was like, ah, yes! <laughs> yes, yes, please do my makeup, because I like getting my makeup done by you. First of all, can we talk about you and your new driver's license? <laughs> yes, girl! She said, I want to go in full geese with mm -hmm. a huge helmet wig, Just girl. A giant black wig. <laughs> and then I put my weight as 90 pounds. Yes! I mean, Stacey Dash said she's a white woman, so. Mm -hmm. I love a person filled with delusion. <laughs> That's funny to me. You know what's so funny? Tell me. The day she got arrested, I had just watched Clueless on a plane and I was like, where are they now? <laughs> and then truly opened Twitter and Twitter was like, jail. And I don't think I've laughed harder. However, that white privilege didn't mm -hmm. get her out of those handcuffs no, though, because they said you was what? No, black. black. We are going to paint you in a transformation today. I'm very excited. Baby. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah. You know what this means? We need to go home to the motherland. The girl. land is good. Let's because go to Nigeria. A good, good I would do it. Get me a nice man. You know he will be what? Oh. I down. Yes! We're going to start off by gluing her brows down. Glue the brows down. But before we do that, we're going to do a skin regime. By skin regime. I love it. You're going to try to make my skin clear, and I'm like, I'm going to eat a bagel. You're so Carve awesome. right up. <laughs> so foolish. Just gonna Ooh. start with this. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. Ooh. I love that you keep your Tupac Shakur uh, nose ring. Mm -hmm. Do y'all kids know who Tupac Shakur is? They're like, no, who's she? <laughs> I'm very oily. Okay, so maybe we'll just stop there. No matter what I eat, drink, I'm always just very oily, but People keep saying that that's good. I'm gonna look young forever. Yeah, sebaceous I mean, glands and nobody and all could that. ever guess that I'm 47 years old. That part. This is a vitamin C booster. Maybe that's why you think I'm older than you, because I keep lying about my age to you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the children who you are and like where you come from. Oh, I am Nicole Byer. Um, I host a show on Netflix called Nailed It. Mm -hmm. I also have a comedy half hour special also on Netflix. My big break was Girl Code on MTV. That was the first thing that I got to showcase my comedy on. The first thing where I was in multiple episodes of the thing. I've been trying to work on uh, stand up. Mm -hmm, it hard. is hard. Stand up is one of the hardest things, I think. Especially now, I don't want to say PC culture is like ruined things. I'm going to say it. I feel like PC culture has ruined the thing. The well, thing being yeah. comedy. It's I, look, hard. I grew up on deaf comedy jam. Yes. Where like you didn't even own cable. You was bootlegging mm -hmm. the cable from the neighbor <laughs> upstairs. It uh -huh. was raw. It was yes. in your face. And Yeah, and I think there's a way to like, like, people will be like, oh, Eddie Murphy's Raw would never fly now. No, but I'm sure he'd do something similar. I mean, I do want to work until I'm dead. Come um, on, Joan Rivers. I really do. I'd like to, I don't know, just be in something really memorable and iconic. Yeah. So we just... <gasps> I look scary. <laughs> oh! <laughs> This is terrifying! Yeah. <laughs> you goofy. Yeah. So we just glued her brows down. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we went in with a little white base, and now we're going with the blue cream base. I look so scary. <laughs> ah, oh yeah, I'm Tweety Bird. <laughs> so now we're just gonna go in and just kind of set this mm -hmm. with the blue, the blue cream with the blue. Where did you learn your makeup? So I just learned by, my friend told me this. She said, <clears throat> instead of paint your face. And so that's what I did. Um, and then I went on RuPaul's Drag Race and he said, well, why either or, do both. So then that's what I did. I went to a haunted house 
in October by ho- during Halloween time. Mm-hmm. And then at one point, someone called me a little piggy, and I was like, this this is traumatic. But then I realized they were calling everybody piggies. And I was like, I don't know, I'd pick a different word. But then I was like, am I being too sensitive? And then I was like, you're thinking too much in this haunted house. Climb into this meat locker. <laughs> I'm not paying to be scared. Yeah. For what? Yeah. Why am I gonna do that? Why am I gonna, you know how hard it was to come up with this $40? Mm-hmm. And you want me to waste $40 so you can scare me? Bitch, I can walk around the projects for free. Mm-hmm. What? I'm not doing that. If you had a time machine, where would you go in time? Oh, it would have to be long, long, long time ago when like black people was running stuff. Cause I was, I used to think about that too. Like when and where, but I would mm-hmm. still be black. So. Uh, I think I would go forward. Don't oh, word. Yeah, I don't think I want to go back. Yeah. We just a minute. We just a minute. Ah! How dare you? How dare any of you? What is going on here? I put a stop to this madness ah! right now. I love you so much. <laughs> I had to just say yes. What? I'm so happy that and you did this. Hi, Entrance, honey. hello. I, know, I, I am know. Nicole. It is so Nicole, nice I love to you meet so much. you. It is so I nice adore to you. I adore you. I think you are fabulous. <laughs> and am... honestly, this entrance, <laughs> yes, girl. arms just to go. I just wanted to come down and give my stamp of approval. Oh, and I say love it. That I cannot wait Thank to come you. and see it. And that I want you. My dear, to come back anytime you want and yes. then we can do it together. Yeah. And I, ah, <laughs> mm. I love you. You guys go have fun and have ah, a great yeah. time. Bye, darling. <laughs> Goodbye. That's how I'm going to enter every room. I know room. that every room. From now arm. Now arm? Now arm. <laughs> now on. Ah. Both arms just going. I was truly <laughs> starstruck. <laughs> So we're bringing, using a lighter blue to kind of give her a little bit more drama. I look like McDonald's. We fly a lot. Have you encountered any rude people on airlines? Oh my gosh. You hear some of the rudest people to flight attendants. Mm-hmm. And the flight attendant is trying so hard mm-hmm. to uh, like appease them. And he's like, look, you raggedy bitch. <laughs> and you can hear them sigh and you're like, you know what, sir? You just need to calm mm-hmm. down. <laughs> and he'd be like, who are you? But uh-huh. My name's not, but hers is Susan or whatever her name is. She's working <laughs> real damn hard. You need to be nice to You Susan. need to calm your raggedy ass down. I don't fly United. I hate United. Delta, on the other hand. They're amazing. I once, okay. I once found a piece of poop in my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I disinfect the chair. I'm uh-huh. like, that girl, wait, I don't. What? Here's a fun tip. They do not get cleaned often. They just get resealed in bags. And there's tons of articles about this. There's tons of videos about this. I opened it and there's like a brown crust in this blanket. And then a little crumble fell on me and I was like, oh, say what? And then opened it further and was like, oh, this is a piece of shit. I thought I was going crazy because nobody would just say it was a piece of shit. And I was like, what is the flight attendant saying? Because I showed it to him. And honestly, his reaction was very funny. He went, oh my God, I got to get my phone. All right, so now, legendary children, we are highlighting her face. We're using Fenty because we are what? Supporting black businesses? Yes, yes. Give all of our money to Rihanna. Why won't you be my friend, Riri? <laughs> Riri, be my friend. I once hooked up with a dude who was doing an Obama impression at the bar. Wait, what? And I was like, that's good for me. <laughs> so we like went to his place and then he puked all over his bed and I couldn't get out of there fast enough. So I left my good bra at his house. I was so upset. Went back to the bar. My friend was like, that was quick. And I was like, girl, uh, he puked everywhere. What's this? What are you doing now? Now we are undercutting the cheek, darling. Undercut. 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 On, on, on the cut. For this look, because we want a little bit more drama, the last time I kind of gave her a very light fish. Mm-hmm. So this time I'm trying to give her like dragon fish. I'm a dragon fish. <laughs> so dumb. Tell us about mm-hmm. a weird 
talkable mm. <laughs> sexual experience. I once had a dude go with me and I used to have a big mirror in my bedroom and he wasn't very good at it. And then I opened my eyes and I noticed he was kicking his feet. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had someone you go, I'm scared. We were in a hot tub, in my hot tub, and- We should got coin. Uh, and he was blackout drunk. He was like, I don't know who you are, but don't talk about me on your podcast. Do what? Like, you, not, you don't know me, but you know I have a podcast. Okay. So then we're like in the hot tub and I give him water to like sober him up and then he like couldn't get it up, which is fine because you can do other things. Uh, and then he started yelling at me. And that's the last time I brought someone home. <laughs> life lessons and wisdom. Yeah? What's what's some life lessons and wisdom you've learned? Um, I say this a lot, a thing, I can't remember who told me this, but they said always ask for more money. Yes. When someone gives you an initial offer, they're hoping you accept that offer because that saves them money. Yeah. They always have more. Yes. And the worst thing someone can say to you is no. And you don't like a, when it, one door closes, another, another one might open. open. And a lot of people of color, black and brown people, feel like they're lucky to be invited to the table. Very so they bad. don't want to push back from the table and be like, I'm ungrateful, give me more money. That's not what it is. It's just you knowing your worth. Yes. You heard that little legendary brown children? You mm -hmm. heard that little legendary brown children? Mm -hmm. Did you hear legendary brown children? <laughs> Ask for my money! Ask for it. I need a man. Yeah. Like, he needs to be a man. The hot ones mm -hmm. are young. The young hot ones are cute, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you mm -hmm. girl, do what you <gasps> mm -mm. I need a man. Yeah, I just need someone who- uh, That they sh know they sh together. Uh, is okay that I travel a lot. Yeah. I also need someone who's okay to like share me with people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this looks terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> if you could change one thing about you to be the change that you want to see in the world. I wish I had realized earlier to be less petty. If I don't like somebody, I don't have to let them know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't, like, you don't have to be that bitch where you're like, everybody knows what I, exactly what I feel. Yeah. You don't, who cares? Yeah. So these are going to give you a little bit more drama in the front middle and a, they're a little bit longer. Yeah. So they're stunning. We have the signature pop in the middle. The signature pop in the I middle, especially it. because it's Sweetie Boy. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They really did it. So. Uh -huh. I customized them myself because I like to give a little bit more drama instead of just a 301 lash. You know, I'm very bad. The lash. Yeah, there you go. So now we're going to go and get dolled up and then do the look. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Ooh. I like this hair. I'm gonna let you keep it and go out to dinner with it. Yes, I can't wait to roll up to a very fast, <laughs> casual yeah. restaurant. Hello, hello, Cheesecake Factory. I look stunning. Very that. So what did we learn today? I would say I learned mm -hmm. from you about kindness yes. and not being as petty. Yes. This is a little bit snappy. Just a little bit. <laughs> See you yes. next time on What? Wow Presents Plus. Wow. Bam. See you wow. then. Bye. Wow. 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 wow.